what's going on explorers it's your boy forgotten in time back again another spot here uh found it in south carolina it's an old abandoned uh, funeral home um not a whole lot of information about it i have tried scouring the web um, but what i can tell uh, was it was broken into uh, a few years back ago uh, some damages occurred to the place um, and then there was also a fire as well that it went on um, and then from what i'm gathering now it was actually purchased from one of the neighbors uh, in the neighborhood here um, so and it was actually a joint venture there's two gentlemen that were um, I guess they kind of just joined forces um, and started their own funeral service uh, and then eventually led into the wife also uh, joining in as well um, but yeah this thing this place has been shut down for a good many years now um, and, and surprisingly as you can kind of see here there's no graffiti no tagging there's absolutely nothing damaged other than obviously the ceiling falling in on itself but hope you guys enjoy i'll walk you through the place um, over here obviously you got your little your little electric organ over here um, i looked at this wall i was thinking maybe it was like a song wall but uh it actually looks like names from the time the place was open until it closed in 2006 maybe i think it was 2006 uh, maybe all the people that attend it here it's the only thing that i can think of they either attend it here or maybe they were the ladies and gentlemen that were buried here but i mean it's, it's awesome fun like i have not found something like this before but it's pretty cool i mean the details and in, in the coffins that are here are amazing unfortunately there is obviously body fluid that has leaked out I was I was kind of wanting to get in there a little bit, but I decided not to. I've seen that. Then you come up right here. Uh, there's black mold growing too, but I'm assuming these are both the slumber rooms here. Maybe this is where the the bodies were kept until you know they were ready to be put into the coffin right before the service. Because looking around here, there's no refrigerated area or anything like that. And then I'm assuming this is the area where they kind of showed you like what kind of boxes they offered or coffins they offered. You got a little gown going on there. You got this little guy right here. And this one's actually pretty, pretty nice, extravagant looking. But I'll take you around. Probably look behind there. There's nothing, nothing back behind there that's worth anything. And then just imagine being a funeral director here, going over, you know, some of the Psalms and everything, reading over some of the scripture from the Bible while the families are sitting here mourning for the loved one that just passed. Um, it's kind of sad to think about, but I mean, it, it's it's life. You know, that's just what happens in life. You never know when you're going to go. I mean, you can be 10 years old and something freak accident happens and you're gone. You can be the healthiest person in the world one minute and then the next minute, you know, you, you're having a heart attack for no reason and you're just, that's it, you're gone. It looks like, I think these are the two gentlemen right here that started the place. Uh, and then it just kind of grew from there. It's like a whole family there. Clock stopped, but we'll take you down steps real quick. It's not a big place, so 
hopefully y'all aren't upset that we we don't have like a 40 minute video going on here but i walk into this room this looks like it was like the waiting room maybe this is where everybody gathered to kind of get dressed or communicate with other family members about what's going on and possibly even the break room when they weren't having services and stuff just a standard closet with all the electrical devices your ashtray you gotta have the ashtray you know microwaves all the employee rights and everything from 2009 you got old stereo speakers there this just looks like it was a utility closet they just threw whatever they could and i can't tell you how many times i've stepped into cobwebs here not even being able to see them Electrolux vacuum. I don't even know if they make those things anymore, but I remember they used to be amazing. Old school TVs. New school. I really don't even know what this what's in this. Like <laughs> maybe it's black pepper. I'm hoping they wouldn't put somebody's ashes in that. It's kind of weird. And then you got your whole bathroom here. With a nice little shower, I guess, to get ready before the service. Another little podium area. Already checked the fridge, guys. There's there's nothing, but I'll show you. You got some mayonnaise and mustard. That's about it. But I love these old old style fridges where you actually have the spots for the eggs, so you didn't have to have something separate. And then this is the men's bathroom. Obviously the guys weren't important enough to, you know, have their own shower or anything to get ready. Go into the hallway here. But like all these drawers are filled with just like different kinds of makeup to set up the body. Everything. Some of them are emptied out already, but you can see here you got you got your nail polish, powder, whatever the rest of the makeup kind of stuff is. Random lawnmower for no reason. Then you got the ginormous office right here. I mean, there's still a key sitting here. Like, I, there's I don't even know what any of these keys would be for. Additive for reducing tissue swelling for embalming purposes. This looks like this might be another picture of the gentleman. Gasket price three thousand dollars. <laughs> That's definitely not the price of gaskets nowadays. That's ridiculous the amount that they are nowadays. And they're built the exact same way that they were before. Damn. We'll go into the next room real quick. Now it looks like somebody shot off the fire extinguisher too at one point. Maybe somebody that came in here and explored, or maybe not. Who knows? We'll go into here. You got all your different clothing options. I'm assuming this was either for people that didn't have um, like suit jackets or this was strictly for whoever was performing the services. They could just come in here and pick 
a style that they want it. Not really sure what that is. Got this here to Mr. and Mrs. Moses Brown on May 25th, 1980, 23rd wedding anniversary. And it just kind of keeps going. I mean, there's just, there's so much stuff around here. Newspaper articles. Like, this is the stuff that I love to do right here. This, this is amazing. And to have a find like this is even better. Got your little utility closet, nothing super special. Bloodborne regulations. You still have some of your fluids and stuff. You got your car buttons. I don't know what that is. To be honest with you, maybe just up the nose. I have no idea. I guess that's where all the stuff led into. And then sucking all the fluid out and pushing fluid into the body to clean everything out and get it ready for the embalming process. The, the table that they would have done all the work on. It's actually kind of wild. Kind of want to know where that was shot at. Yeah, here we go. Maybe y'all might want to go follow him. I for decay. have something pretty pretty cool to see like I'm all about shouting out explorers too man like if y'all if I see you anywhere like I'll shout you out don't worry about it Marine Corps gentlemen here. I'm not really sure what, the, what this is all about like, I don't know if it's like a structure to to test and you know like to test your abilities or like do they use this to put around like when the face is messed up or I don't know what they do like all the embalming chemicals and stuff hairpins everything that you would need to fully embalm a body and this I definitely don't know what this is it's some sort of weird contraption you've got Hooks everywhere, you got straps everywhere. There's more makeup and combs and brushes and all that there. You got oil sheen spray. Not really sure what that's all about. Hangers, you got your diapers, you got biohazard bags. You got <clears throat> fake teeth. Acetone. I don't know what you would use acetone for in the body, but. And this. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like. I feel like it's not ashes. It's definitely. It's got to be some sort of uh, like absorbent material. Maybe they put it on the floor if they get blood on there. stuff it is just wild I probably shouldn't be touching this stuff but feature builder humidifier pretty cool little find guys not gonna lie, I'm kinda glad I found this place. Leak proof skin for cuts, burns, and abrasions. Facial tint. Natural color. Bunch of different kinds of solvents. 
embalming sprays, you got your makeups. Soft skin. Pretty cool little find guys. Um, I do see on the back side of this building, I'll show you over here. There's another building right behind here that I think belongs to the property. You can see through the window right there. It looks like they might have some stuff for the funeral home in there too. So I'll see if I can get in there. Um, if I can, obviously, I'll let y'all see. If not, then, you know, <clears throat> we'll cut it short. But you guys, I definitely appreciate you. Uh, hopefully you like the video. Hopefully you like the location. Um, we're going to be moving on to the next spot here shortly. So you guys make sure to like, click, subscribe. Help me out a little bit. Give me some followers. You know, I appreciate you every guy, every time you guys like my videos or follow me. I really appreciate it. This is definitely my dream. This is what I want to do. Like, I want to make this a at least part-time to full-time career. Like, right now, I'm only doing it on the weekends. But I eventually want to get to the point where I'm doing this all the time. I want to be going to different states. I want to be going to different countries. So, yeah, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time on Forgotten in Time.